Good morning. Magandang umaga po. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, hospitalization uh, investment in uh, hospitals uh, for you to get a discount at the hospital. Instead of having uh, your own insurance and the headache of having insurance, uh, some people recommend and someone asked me the question about, well, how about if I invest in the hospital and I will get some kind of a discount? That's what we'll talk about. Stay with me. Full disclosure before we begin. I heard about this. I was sort of reluctant to do a vlog on this uh, until after I get to the Philippines to investigate further what this is all about. Uh, I understand that hospitals, or at least selected hospitals, if you invest in them, uh, they will give you a discount as a shareholder. So I watched one YouTube uh, video uh, and uh, this guy said that uh, you'll be entitled to some benefits and the hospital that he was talking about is located in Dumaguete. Uh, stock prices depends on the hospital. Okay, he did not say how much or how it is established, but he said he invested about 200,000 pesos. That's about, uh, uh, what, $4,000. And uh, he said that uh, if it's established hospital, uh, for example, uh, St. Luke's Hospital in Manila, it could be in the millions. However, he did not say uh, how many shares are required, how many pesos are required to be invested, he just said that he invested about 200,000 pesos. Uh, and I guess it also depends on what discount you get depending on the amount of investment you have and different hospitals have different requirements. So this will just give you some guideline or idea but you have to do your own investigation. Okay. Let's, let's talk about the benefits that you will get by being a shareholder of the hospital. You will get free, according to him, okay, according to this guy, Free private room or suite if it is available, 50% discount on doctor services uh, and, other, uh, and others. Uh, the parents will be covered too, which is great. Children will be covered also, but it's a low, uh, lower discount. For example, if you're getting 50% discount, maybe for the child it's only 10, 20% or whatnot. Uh, you must buy from the doctor, so it appears that this is a private transaction. They said, or he said, you have to go and talk to the administrative office and see if they have any shares available for sale or if any doctor is selling their share. So it looks like it's a private transaction. That made me uh, uneasy at this point. Also, he said that stock could be sold, uh, but the hospital reserves the right of first refusal to buy the stock at the same price you paid, less 10%. So in effect, that's what you lose for getting that insurance policy of uh, discounted uh, hospitalization. However, he did not specify if the hospital is required to buy back the stock. So let's say I invested one million. If you invested one million and then now you don't need it anymore or you're going overseas, you have no use for this anymore and you want to sell this stock. Okay, so they will pay you uh, less 10% uh, discount, that's 100,000, so you'll get back 900,000. But are they required? Or do they only have the option? Which means if they don't want to exercise the option, you have to find a buyer. And while you don't have a buyer, you're stuck with a stock. <laughs> stuck with a stock. Uh, so that, that is something that uh, got me a little bit concerned. So what I did is I, I did some more research, some more digging, because different hospitals are different. And I understand on another uh, article, uh, this person is saying that the Securities and Exchange Commission uh, authorizes the following uh, hospitals. That means it's a publicly traded stock. That, for example, Medical City, uh, United Doctor Services Corporation, Makati Medical Center. Okay, I'm familiar with Makati and I like their facilities. Uh, I did not see St. Luke's. Does it mean they're not a publicly traded company? I, I have no idea. I, I'm just explaining to you what I found in this research. Now, as an example, this one is a little bit better. They said at the time of that uh, publishing, 
the share of Makati Medical Center is 1,635 pesos per share with benefit package. That's a benefit that we're talking about. And we'll continue to talk about what benefits this hospital has in particular. And uh, there will be a 10% discount. This I don't understand. I don't, I, uh, why did they say 10% only discount for those with 600 shares? 600 shares at that price level means you have to invest 981,000 pesos or $19,620 of investment. Now, I can understand because that's an established hospital, just like St. Luke's. Uh, but they said uh, that 10% excludes medicine, supplies, and professional fees. Well, here are some more statements made. Free board and lodging for a suite, okay? Huge discount, but did not specify the percentage. On professional fees, includes a substantial discount, again, did not specify. On outside consultation, lab, lab works, EKG, x-rays, and some other scans. Now, there's also free operating room, emergency room, or delivery room. Discount on pharmacies, uh, uh, pharmaceutical uh, supplies. Free discounted dental consultation and services. That's free, okay? Uh, also, because you own the stock, you could earn dividend if they declare any, and you have an opportunity to have capital gain if you decide to sell at a gain, okay? And like the other one, it will be bought at cost less 10%, so you have to lose 10%. This one says you can sell it in the, uh, uh, in the exchange, I guess. Uh, it will have a lifetime benefit as long as you are the shareholder and it is transferable. Obviously, if you transfer this stock to your parents, for example, or your children, the benefit will transfer to them. So now that is this particular uh, site that I saw. This particular website, I, I have a link down in the comment section below, is uh, United Hospital Builders. Okay. Uh, you can invest at uh, United Hospital Builders and they're publishing, they're advertising that you will get a generous benefit which includes uh, free board and lodging uh, up to a suite if it is available, uh, free operating room and delivery room fees, 50%, uh, okay, they say 50% discount on all x-rays, radiology and laboratory procedures. 50% uh, discount on professional fees for all outpatient consultation. For inpatient professional fee, 50% discount uh, of the house case, uh, which is the standard uh, uh, rate that they have. For pharmacy, uh, operating room, and all other medical supplies, it will be cost their cost plus 10%. So cost plus 10%. That is how much they're going to charge you. Now, and they're also saying, now watch this, that it is 350,000 is the price and the market value at the date this was advertised is 400,000. So they're selling it to you at a discount, uh, but it says negotiable, meaning this is going to be a private transaction. So the question is, is this publicly traded or not? The problem you have if it is not publicly traded is you may not be able to sell it. You may have difficulty selling it. Whereas in a, in, in a uh, publicly traded stock, as soon as you post it, it sells at fair market value, okay? Uh, so no problem disposing of the stock. Uh, so that's my concern. Uh, so will, will somebody buy this stock from you if you no longer need it? So those are the things you have to be careful about when you look at this. The first thing is, are you interested in this particular hospital? Is the facility okay? Are the doctors okay? Are you okay with it? If you are, then you continue to pursue and say, okay, how much do I need to, to, to buy, to, to buy into it? How much do I need to put in? Uh, so you have to determine what that total cost is and compare it to the benefits you're getting. And then lastly, you say, okay, if I don't need it anymore, can I sell it? Of course, they will say, yeah, but you have to find a buyer. If it's not publicly traded, how sure are you? If they say, we have the right of first refusal, well, that's the right for them to buy, not the obligation for them to buy. So what if you cannot sell it? You have to find your own buyer. So these are the things uh, that 
uh, that you have to look into if you want to pursue this further. Now, if I were younger, this is probably a good investment because I'll invest and I'll be able to use this for the next 30, 50 years of my life. And if what that initial vlogger I saw says is true, it will cover your parents, which is great because eventually you'll take care of your parents and if they're covered, that's great. It will cover your children, although he did not specify the percentage. Uh, this one site said 10%. It varies, okay? But those are the things you have to consider, all right? So, again, I wish I'm in a position where I already bought into something or I already at least interviewed someone so I know I can speak to that particular case, but not in all cases, but that particular case. For example, St. Luke's, which I like, Medical City, which I like. If I actually sat down with them and know for a fact that those are the terms of the benefits, it'll be great. But absent that, this is the best I can tell you. This is what I know right now. And I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's not true, but I have a reason to believe that it is true, although the, the, uh, the information is sort of incomplete at this point. But again, if I'm looking at the amount of money I will put into this, it's probably not going to be worth it because I'll probably be staying in the Philippines 50% of the time, maybe even less. Uh, so that part of the time I will be in the U.S. So what will I do in the U.S.? That, that will not be of any use to me. When I'm in the U.S., I'll have to rely on the uh, insurance in the U.S. So, uh, but, but if I'm full-time in the Philippines, if I'm young, okay, if, if, if I'm only going to use this for the next 10, maybe 20 years if I'm lucky, uh, it may not be worth it. But if I'm going to invest, let's say I, I'm only 30 years old, 40 years old, and I have so many years ahead of me, it may be worth it. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this and you benefited from it, uh, although it's not complete. I will appreciate it if you share it with others. And please do like and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. Thank you so much and make it a great day.